And so I, I just got to share it with you. And what it is, is that I want to share with you how on earth in the midst of a pandemic and the craziness that 2020 has brought to our world, how despite all of that, I have managed to quadruple my income, lose weight, and overall have the best year ever. Like literally, I looking back on 2020, it has literally been one of the be- one of if not the best year of my life. And yet our like the world's been in the middle of this crazy pandemic. Like what on earth? Well, I'm going to share it with you how I did it, okay? And um so, I have three things Okay. The third one is like the probably number one game changer that I swear by. (laughs) Um, And also at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a giveaway. So you don't want to miss it. Okay. So here's the deal. Um, This year has been crazy. And I know for a lot of people, this year has absolutely sucked right? We're in the midst of this pandemic situation where most of us are still kind of, you know, at home or things are still weird, right? Um, some people are still kind of in a lockdown type mode. Some people have a little bit more ability to move around, but overall things are still weird. Um, we're in the middle of a very crazy election cycle politically. So there's a lot of political unrest and there's just been a lot of crazy things going on. Well, um, So for some people, and I totally, I've seen it, I've seen it and I've interacted with people who have had really horrible years where they've been dealing with wellness, they've been dealing with job losses, they've been dealing with really horrible situations. And um, I want to be sensitive to that. Absolutely. Okay. I'm not discounting that this year has been really, really hard for some people. Um, But I also want to share with you that there's hope. Like, first of all, the year's not over. There's still a month and a half left. And secondly, that we can make that we can still make this year an awesome year and we can head into 2021 and make 2021 the best year ever all right it and so here's here are the the key things that i did that i really want to share with you that i think if you implemented them you'll see a significant impact as well cuz i can just i can tell you right now these are the these are the three things that i did consistently this year and i can directly connect them to how my income quadrupled how i lost weight and and just kind of overall had a really great year um i was still able to have some really great relationships and um even go on a trip and do things that were pretty awesome so <laughs> Number one is I severely limited my exposure to negativity, okay? This took the shape of a few things. Number one, I don't watch the news, period. I don't watch it. I don't even have cable. Um, But I don't watch the news because they don't have anything good to say, ever. It's this constant role of how the world is burning and going to hell in a handbasket. I mean, literally, that's just that's what... That's what the news constantly is. It's this just a constant roll of all the ways the world is de- is destroying itself. And so I don't watch the news. Um, I also am really particular about how much time I spend on social media and who I follow on social media. Here's the deal. On social media, right, I think that's one of the biggest places that we see so much negativity. People wanting to pick fights. People being nasty, right? We see the best and worst of people on social media. Um, what I personally have done is if I see people being nasty, um, I either unfriend them because I I don't need that in my life. Or if I maybe don't want to unfriend them because I do know them in real life and I I do want to maintain some semblance of a relationship with them. Um, I mute them so that I don't have to see their posts. Um, And then I am in more control of what that interaction looks like when I do interact with them. And so um, I really, really severely limited my exposure to negativity. What this did, why this was so crucial, is that when everyone else is freaking out in fear or frustration or whatever, um, 
valid or not, I mean, those are all valid emotions. I'm not saying those aren't valid emotions, but that when everyone else, that when everyone else is also freaking out, it amplifies how we feel, right? If even if we're feeling a little bit of fear or a little bit of stress or whatever, if we're surrounding ourselves with people who also feel that way and everybody's kind of, it kind of feeds and it creates this volcano of emotion that is uncontrollable. And so by limiting my exposure to negativity, I really was able to help kind of control my own emotions and work with my own thoughts and keep myself in a place where, I, you know, I, I really wasn't ha- worrying too much or stressing too much because I was able to stay in faith. I wasn't constantly having um, input and and influences that were trying to undermine my faith because faith is the opposite of fear. Um, so if you're in fear, you're not in faith, period. You're If you're operating out of fear, you're, you cannot be operating in faith. It's one or the other. <laughs> so I really, really limited my exposure. So that was the number one thing. The second thing, and this was all, I mean, these all of these were really crucial, but I'm kind of ordering them from like in order of, this, this is the second most crucial thing, was I consistently plugged into mindset coaching. So I'm a part of a couple of different coaching groups. Um, and I plugged into those resources like nobody's business. I made sure anytime that I was stressed or worried or finding myself kind of wanting to go down a negative road or a road that was going to derail me from, um, the path I wanted to be on, I immediately either listened to, some of the trainings that I have access to, or I scheduled a call with my coach and worked with her one-on-one or both. <laughs> um, I consi- that, but that was something I consistently did. I was consistently plugging into mindset coaching. I was consistently coaching myself and working through my thoughts and working through what was going on so that I could stay in control and in the, as the master of my own emotions, which is a biblical thing to do, right? We're told to take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. And we are told that we are eight, we are in control of our emotions. So, um, I just really, really stepped into that and worked on that and making sure that I stayed in control of those emotions and those thoughts. Thirdly, now this literally is one of the most life-changing things I ever learned. And it's amazing. Like literally, I cannot even begin to tell you how amazing it is. All right. So let me share with you what it is. It is the question. It is a question. And what it is, is I ask myself when I am facing things and looking at things that I don't like, things that are outside my control, I ask, what does this make possible? So here's the deal. For example, I'm going to give you this example. When, um, when COVID first hit and we first kind of went into lockdown, a lot of people were freaking out and stocking up on toilet paper for whatever reason. I still don't get the toilet paper thing, guys. Can anybody explain to me? Can anyone explain to me why it was toilet paper? Like not food, not water, toilet paper. Like what the heck? Okay. Anyway, rant over with that. But <laughs> so everybody, like people went out and panic bought a bunch of random crap. Um, And, you know, and that was their response. That's fine. But it was like people, so when people were doing that, um, I kind of looked at it and was like, Hmm, I mean, it's not ideal. I'm really not thrilled about being stuck at home for two weeks. Cause that's how long it was supposed to be at that time. Um, but you know what, here was the question I asked, what does this make possible? I can't change it. It's what's happening. What does this make possible? And for me, you know what it made possible? It made possible the fact that I was able to for X, my income. I was able to quadruple my income because I am a, one of the, I, well, I, I'm an online entrepreneur and I, um, one of the streams of income I have is I teach online writing classes. And so that, that went through the roof with a whole bunch of kids home from school. So I went from teaching a couple classes a week to almost 20 classes a week. It was crazy. So, um, 
that one question is what caused me and helped me to quadruple my income. Um, other things that it helped me do was, you know, looking at situations too, again, even like with weight, like, um, I'm still on a weight loss journey. Um, but I'm also currently pregnant. So when you're pregnant, you really shouldn't be trying to lose weight. (laughs) So I'm not really actively trying to lose weight. I'm just focusing on being healthy for my baby. Um, but before I got pregnant, I had, uh, lost about a, a uh, one clothing size, a good solid clothing size, um, both top and bottom. And so, again, that was in the midst of a pandemic. So instead of stress eating, I did thought work around, okay, well, just because I'm home doesn't mean I have to, you know, eat all the ice cream and cookies. I can eat a salad. So, but asking, and I still do this every day, like when I'm faced with situations that are outside my control, that are frustrating or less than ideal, well, what does this make possible? And it's amazing what that question does because it puts you in creative mode. It puts you in a mode where you're looking for solutions and you're looking for opportunities and you're able to do so much. It's amazing. So seriously, this question, life-changing question, like if you take away anything, I want you to take away asking yourself this question whenever you're faced with this difficult situation. What does this make possible? And so, um, Those are really the three things. I could probably go into like an hour long talk about every single little nitty gritty detail of strategy and what I did and how I did and all of that. Um, But that's something that I would want to do with you one on one where I can interact with you so that I can actually help you in a really specific way that's specific to your life so that I can help you strategize based on the principles that I've learned this year, how to make your life um, the, what you want it to be. So now we get to the giveaway part. Okay. I'm really excited about this because here's the deal guys, this, if any of this was encouraging to you or helpful at all, if these three, um, strategies were helpful, this is just like a little tiny taste, kind of like a little sample of the kind of content and the kind of things that we talk about in my new group pro group coaching program that I'm launching in just about a a week, in a week actually, or just over a week on the 18th. So a week and a day, eight days. Um, where I'm launching my 12 week group coaching program called Arise. It is designed for busy, overwhelmed, stressed out women who are ready to take control of their lives and really step into a place of power and authority and make their lives the way they want them to be. Um, It's designed for busy women, so it's not super crazy. I don't wanna add to the overwhelm load. I want to (laughs) help you manage what's going on so that you step out of overwhelm. So um, it's a group coaching program. I've been working on it this year, and I'm so excited to finally be able to share it with you guys, and it's launching next week. But, uh, well, to celebrate, I am doing a giveaway. I am giving away two of my gold level packages of this program um, to two lucky people. So how you enter this giveaway is you need to be on my wait list. I have a wait list. It is, I put it in the description of this video. So you can just click that link and enter your email and voila, you are on the wait list. Or you could just pop your email in the comments and I will get it and put you on the list myself. All right. Um, but if you do that, if you're on the wait list, you will be entered into the drawing for one of two free packages. Additionally, everyone who's on the wait list, everyone is going to get an exclusive 10% off the launch price coupon. So our launch, my launch price is going to be really discounted from what the normal rate is going to be anyway. But on you, if you are on my wait list, you're going to get an additional 10% off of that. 
So um, you want to do that. So the link is in the description of the video. Or again, just put your email in the comments and I'll make sure you're on that wait list. All right, friends, if this was encouraging to you, um, exciting, or even a kick in the pants, please like, subscribe, and share it with someone who would also be encouraged by this video. All right? Have a wonderful day. And I cannot wait to work with you, to see you, see you face to face, because we're going to have group coaching calls and um, do all of these amazing <laughs> I'm super excited about this. Like, we're just going to have so much fun working together um, and seeing each other face to face in Arise. So, I can't wait to see you there. Make sure that you're one of the first people to know about it and one of the first people in the doors by joining that wait list. Have